Our favourite element is mercury. The ancient alchemists called it quicksilver, literally meaning silver that's alive. We've just finished filming this year's Christmas lectures uh, with all of the props behind us called The Modern Alchemist. And although we don't specifically talk about mercury in this year's Christmas lectures, it is nonetheless an absolutely stunning element. You can see the beautiful way that it moves, the way that it reflects the light as it comes out in this beautiful small trickle. And as it moves around the dish, um, it clings together and forms this beautiful liquid. One of the reasons that I like mercury as well is that it just is so unusual. Um, as, as Ollie mentioned, it's the only metal that is um, liquid at room temperature. Um, it's incredibly dense. This flask, well, I'll show you how heavy it is. Here's a similar one of water, which I'll start off with. That's 140 grams. There's this. Same amount of liquid, more or less. Look at that, nearly a kilo. There's hardly anything in there, it's nearly a kilo. Uh, it has a very high thermal expansivity, so really perfect for thermometers. It's also used in situations where you need to make a moving electrical contact. So in, in motion detectors, quite often there have been mercury switches. So when you tip them, the mercury flows between and fills the space between two contacts and makes an electrical contact. This spinning trough of water over here is, is a clue to one of my favourite applications of mercury, which is in making mirrors in telescopes. So, so this, this, uh, this rotating um, water in here, the surface, I don't know if you can see, is taking up uh, a curved shape, and that shape is called a paraboloid, and it's the, exactly the perfect shape to make a telescope mirror out of, for a reflecting telescope. So if you do this with mercury instead of water, which I haven't done because it would take quite a lot of mercury, um, then you can make a mirror for a telescope out of water. Water? Mercury. Um, did I have any other uses? Oh, no. syphilis, of course, <laughs> syphilis. Uh, <laughs> uh, mercury was even used um, in, the, in olden times as a treatment for syphilis, which must have been quite unpleasant. And I don't think there was any really reason for actually using mercury to treat syphilis. They just thought it might be a good idea. And they didn't have any other be better ideas. So um, those are the reasons I like mercury. <laughs> and the final reason um, that I love mercury is that when I was growing up, I used to hear stories of my parents getting to play around with mercury, flick, flick balls of it across the school lab bench, and I never got anywhere near it. And um, I now finally have a job where I get to hold it in my hands and see the beauty of this incredible element.